Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be discussing my 2022 reading plans. So I'll get started with my book total. I aim to read about 48 books this year. Uh, so that's four books a month. Um, I got halfway through 2021 and then just stopped recording. So hence why I'm going to say 48 books and we'll see how we go from there. So then there's two reading challenges I would like to take part in. There is the Dimmix. Uh, Dimmix is an Australian bookstore, and so they have their reading challenge. Give me a sec while I have my iPad so that I can get all the prompts. Now, some of these prompts will cross over with my other reading challenge that I want to do this year. 20 normal challenges and then like six hard, oh, extra challenge is what they've called it. I'll put an image up somewhere on the screen. I'm not, I can't see myself at the moment, so I don't know if I'm central. Somewhere around. So bought it for the cover trending on booktok i probably won't do that challenge because i don't actually have tiktok so um, i'll have to think of something else or i'll just have to skip it illustrated cover a friend's favorite otherworldly inspiring change love story start of a series a classic australian author a book you keep seeing number in the title reread a favorite from where you'd rather be an adventure, feel good, release this year, award winner, First Nations author, or a Dimmix book of the month. For the extra challenging, and these ones I may end up crossing off in amongst all the other challenges that I'm doing, um, 450 plus pages, a book older than you, bottom of your TBR pile, finished in a day, read entirely outside, and out of your com comfort zone. So that's the Dimmix reading challenge, and so some of those will cross over with the other uh, challenge that I will be participating in, which is the Buzzwordathon. It's hosted by Kayla from Books and Lala. My lovely wife loves to do this every year, if she can, so she's wrote me into this one. There's one of the challenges that I'm struggling with finding a book that leaps out at me. I have a very narrow reading range and I just can't seem to find one that kind of says, pick me, pick me for it. But all the others, I've got at least one option. For some of them, it took me a while to find that one option. So the first one is for January, and that is the five W's. Who, where, when, what, why? So my choice for this is Mackenzie Lee's Loki, Where Mischief Lies. Um, so this is kind of a, a story about a teenage, why is he the god of mischief? The second prompt is pronouns. Now I had another book I was thinking of for, for this one, but because I've got the first book in the series later down in the pile, I'm like, well, there's no point in me really showing you the second book in the series. In February we've got pronouns, and for this one I thought of If I Tell You by Alicia Tuckerman. This is this one is an Australian author. It is a queer romance. March is location or landmark, so I'll be putting pictures up of these series because all of these series pretty much have a landmark or location in the title. So for Location Landmark, we'll be doing the Calico Mountain series by Sarah Barry, or I'll be doing a book from the Rangers Apprentice series by Richard Flanagan, or the Medoran Chronicle, um, have uh, landmarks or locations as part of their titles in a fair few number of the books in those series. The only one I could think of that came to mind when Big and Little came in for April was Little Women. So that will be a classic that I will be doing this year. For May is the one that Oh no, sorry, May is Direction. So I've got Across the Nightingale Floor by Leanne Han, which is book one in the Tales of the Atori. One of two options for me for Direction. The other one is Come Tumbling Down by Shauna Maguire, which is the book I am up to in the Wayward Children series. Uh, the next one, which is June, is the one that I've not found any titles that really leap out at me. Um, and that is all in the title of the word all. I had thought of getting around it by going with like Fallen or something, but my wife has said I'm not allowed to use those ones. No, because it's the word. But then we get to book terms in the title. So I've either got the Bain Chronicles, so book terms like library, story, anything book like bookish related in the title. So I've got Bain Chronicles by Cassandra Clare. It's a chunky one. Or I've got the Lost Stories by John Flanagan. Then we get to July with book terms. August is objects. Again, there are series that have a fair few objects in their titles. Um, the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Mass comes to mind. The Elenium series by David Eddings. They each have a precious gem as part of their title. And then the Magnus Chase series is another one that come, by Rick Ryden that comes to mind. Sort of Summer, Ship of the Dead, Hammer of Thor, 
September is light and dark. So I'm just reading this off the spreadsheet. I didn't actually put the months down, so that's why I'm getting a bit... Um, so I've either got The Lightning Thief uh, by Rick Ryden, or I've got The Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. It's uh, also called Golden Compass. Is the Amer That's the American title. Here it's The Northern Lights. Um, the Golden Compass has picked up more here now after the movie was released several years ago and then again the TV series being redone and on Apple TV so it's known by both, both names but when I first encountered it when I was in high school the series is called His Dark Materials. October it's Creatures and the only creature I could think of as the title is one of the Sherlock Holmes stories The Hound of the Baskervilles which lovely edition that my wife bought me for my birthday a few years ago. I am a huge uh, Sherlock Holmes fan um, and so I will be reading The Hound of the Baskervilles and there's a nice little hound there on the, the side, on the spine. So that will be Fort November is Ing in the title and for that I've got three books I can think of. Uprising is book three in the Incorruptible series by S.D. Wosley another Australian author. Um, I've got Lee Child, The Killing Floor, which I picked up from one of those little free libraries. Um, if you look up littlefreelibrary.org, you can see where in your area, if there is a little free library, which is where you take a book and return a book. So you swap books there. Um, and then the last one I can think of for Ing is Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, it's another really big book, but Okay, so for December it is Numbers in the title and I the only series or books I can think of that have numbers in the title is the Women's Murder Club series by James Patterson. I've got 12th of Never up on my TBR shelf but I'm not up to that in the series yet. I'm actually up to 4th of July. So that's probably what I will be reading. If I've already read that it'll be on to the next number in that series. Now for the two challenges I'm setting myself for 2022 I want to read six books by Australian authors and they have to be different Australian authors. So I could read multiple books of the same author but only the first book I read of theirs will count towards that challenge and it's the same with I want to read six self-published and again only the first book read will count towards the self-published number. So that is my 2022 goals. Let me know what your goals are down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye!